Peter Nygaard. Sailing. Health. Athleticism. Bahamian sponsorship. Peter Nygaard was a member of the Canadian Sailing Olympic team. He won the Manitoba Championship and eventually became a North American gold medalist and was ranked as the world's fifth best Tempest racer. 1976 Olympic trials underway. The sixth race described in the newspaper article below was in squall conditions. Peter and David were unbeatable in heavy weather, but tragedy struck on the first beat leg. The wire holding the 6 foot 8, 230 pounds David snapped, plunging him into the water and causing the boat to capsize. Upon riding the boat and resuming the race, Nygaard found himself 50 boat lengths behind the fleet. Behind 50 lengths going into the third and final leg, he made up the distance, passing the other sailors to take the lead to win the race. Peter Nygaard and his crew, David Shaw, won the gold medals in 1977 North American Championship. Peter did a horizon job on the fleet, scoring seven bullets. Sharing his second toast, Peter Nygaard sponsored numerous regattas and shared his love of the sport with the Bahamian people. In 2011, the Tribune, still a legitimate media, recognizing King Eric in paying tribute to Peter Nygaard for Bahamian sponsorship. King Eric stated, People of the Bahamas owe Peter Nygaard a lot of credit because of all the regattas he has helped. The only thing we can say is thank you. He does this strictly out of his heart, said King Eric in his support for Nygaard. These are the type of people that we want to see in our country because he shares his wealth and opens his home to the Bahamian people. About 80% of our athletes have gotten a touch of him financially. I think we should embrace him and maybe some others will follow him. Imagine if we had three or four more people like Peter Nygaard, the Bahamas would be in great shape. Peter returns to his roots, to Falcon Lake. He hosts a 12-hour July 1st Canada Day celebration for all his neighbors. Over 600 attended. Peter bought the original cabin almost 60 years ago with $8,000 of borrowed money. July 1, 2018, Canada Day grand opening of Valhalla, Peter's latest log cabin masterpiece. Peter getting younger and stronger, ready to play in the beach volleyball tournament with his son Trey. And they won the gold medals.